Let's talk about how to make a ferret cage. Um, it's a lot easier to buy a commercial ferret cage, obviously, because they're designed to be safe and secure already. Um, and so if you're going to make one, you want to design it uh, close to those types of specifications. The first thing is you want a ferret cage to be long enough to where a ferret can move around and play and, uh, and, and just get exercise. The second thing you want to think about is, is it, wants, it needs to be tall enough to where ferrets can move in a multi-level fashion as well. Um, materials would be based around using a coated wire um, that a ferret cannot get through because they can get through small little um, passageways or, or small little openings. Um, so it, it obviously needs to be um, there needs to be a secure top, secure sides, and secure bottom. The door has to be very secure because they're good at opening uh, little latches and things like that because they're very smart and they're escape artists. Now, in a, a homemade cage, you're going to have bedding, like recycled newspaper uh, uh, bedding that you can get at pet stores or corn cob based beddings, things like that. You're also on one end going to have a shallow litter pan um, because ferrets are litter trained just like cats are, and so that works very well on one end. On the other end, you're going to use your water bottle, water source, and a shallow dish for the ferret approved food that you're going to have them on, generally a, a, a dry food. Um, also, in your cage, it needs to be kind of multi-leveled, and a hammock works very well for them. They like to lay in hammocks and lounge around in those. And then lastly, you're going to want to put some ferret toys in there so they can play with and keep occupied when you're not there. And so, you know, check with your pet store um, on specifications as far as ferret cages are concerned and just make sure it's escape-proof and safe.